Hey folks, we are back with another video. Today's topic, we're gonna to talk about how you can better understand cell camera data. So not necessarily data plans, but understanding how cell cameras work, understanding data, understanding the sizes, so you can spend your money more wisely and become more efficient with cell cameras and purchasing data plans. So before we get started on our talking points or on a list, there's one important thing or general message you have to understand when you're talking about cell cams, cell phones, anything of that nature. And that is any information or data that is transmitted over the air is gonna cost you money. So that could be, that could look like photos being sent to your phone, that could be videos sent to your phone, that could be OTA functions, which OTA just stands for over the air, commands sent from your phone or app or web portal to the device is gonna cost you money, firmware updates. So basically the general statement here is anything that is sent to or from that cell camera is gonna cost you money in some way. The very first talking point we wanna dive into is understanding data, data blocks. And what we mean by that is physically, how much data are you buying in your data plan? Are you buying 25 megabytes? Are you buying 500 megabytes? Are you buying a gig? And really trying to help you understand what a gig is worth in the amount of photos or videos sent to your phone. Uh, one of the things that we see a lot are guys purchasing data plans and they simply just overpurchase and they're you know basically wasting money. So we want to help you guys become more efficient in how you guys are buying data with an Exodus render. Now this is going to vary a little bit from brand to brand, model to model. So the examples given, we're going to talk about what we know best and that is the Exodus render. So when you look at what size plan you should be buying, the very first thing you need to consider is how many pictures per month is that camera going to get. So if you think that camera is going to get 200 pictures a week, that's 800 pictures a month, you probably want to end up with a plan that's going to be about 50 megabytes. 50 megabytes is going to give you an estimated 1,000 photos and it's cost you five bucks a month. If you think you're going to run that camera on video mode, then you're probably going to want to bump that data up. The video files are larger than the photo files. And with that, when it comes to managing that data plan, one thing to note with Exodus and Scout Tech, the Exodus render is you can manage that inside your billing cycle. So if you are, if you have bought a 25 megabyte plan, that's going to cost you three bucks and that'll get you, you know, 500 photos. If you're creeping in towards the end of the month and you think you're going to go over, you can simply up, up your photo, up your data plan and only pay the difference. So you're not getting double charged for uh, double data, but it's super important to understand how many photos you're getting with your data. So always, 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 before you purchase your data plan, look at that amount and see physically how many pictures that's estimated out to be. The second point we wanna talk about and dive into is compression software. And we're not gonna get super technical on this because I know it's probably gonna bore a bunch of people, uh, but the general theme here is the better the compression software, the more photos you're going to get per the amount of data that you purchase. Meaning the better the compression software, the more efficient your dollars are going to be with pictures sent to your phone. Uh, and with the compression software, what you'll see or what you'll find is the better the compression software, the better the images. The third thing we want to talk about and help you better understand when you're purchasing these data plans for cell cameras is understanding that video mode is going to eat more data than photo mode. So re again, regardless of what you're doing, anything going over the air is going to end up eating data, which you're paying for. So in a case by case scenario, when you're looking at cell cams that are transmitting videos versus transmitting photos, video files are always going to be larger. There's, there, there's more information there. There's more detail. There's more killers. Um, so that's going to cost you more money or eat more of your data up. So be careful on how many cameras that you have kind of in your fleet and in your shared plan that are in photo mode versus how many are in video mode. The last thing we want to talk about and what we briefly touched on at the beginning of this video are OTA functions. OTA is just an acronym for over the air. And what we're referring to with OTA functions are the commands sent from your mobile phone or from the app or web portal to the actual device. So the, the great thing with cell cameras is you can manage and control them remotely. If you want to change um, your camera settings, whether that's a trigger delay or you want to change modes or you want to change your burst count, anything you want to do from your phone 
and have that take place and update on your camera is considered uh, over the air or an OTA function. That could also include updating your firmware. That could include a command to format your SD card. A lot of premium brands have those capabilities as in the Exodus render. So better understanding that those commands are also moving towards your data or eating your data or using your data. Um, it's gonna help you better understand how you're spending your money. This is one of the things that when we release firmware updates, we'll send a mass email out saying there's a, a firmware update available for the Exodus render. It can be done you know, via OTA function or SD, standard SD card and guys will run the update over the air and then all of a sudden they're confused of, as if why five megabytes or three megabytes or eight megabytes or whatever that file size is, has just been used um, from their data plan. So this is something that's often overlooked, but it's super important uh, that you understand that OTA functions are going to use some of your data. As we get this video wrapped up, there's one other talking point I'm gonna mention and it kind of fits between all these talking points and that is understanding the actual file size of the images that are being transmitted. So not all photos are created equal, not all videos are created equal. And some of that has to do with compression software, but a lot of it also has to do with the individual set that the camera is actually in. So when you start comparing uh, how many photos you can get for you know, $3 or how many photos you can get for $10 or whatever that plan looks like, typically that's an average between day and nighttime photos. And the reason why you take a day and night is because a daytime picture has more color and has more information in it than a nighttime photo that may be on a grayscale or black and white. And because it has more information, more color, more detail, that file is going to be larger than what you send at night. And for example, a compressed image coming from the Exodus render in the daytime could average anywhere from, let's say 68 kilobytes to 75 kilobytes where a nighttime image might only be 15 to 20 kilobytes. So again, we're talking kilobytes, super, super small, but it's important to note that a daytime photo or a daytime video is going to consume more data than a nighttime video or nighttime photo. So just wanted to mention that uh, and provide some additional insight. If you guys find value in anything that we talked about here, be sure to hit that thumbs up Leave us a comment if you have any questions and as always, smash that subscribe button for us.